What's up there, YouTube? What's up? Got another another OU Wi-Fi battle that I had with my friend Valentina. So she has Galventella. So she's probably going to be doing Sticky Web. She has Clef Key getting Spike Sub, Landorus, Gyarados, Tapu Lele, and Heatron. That is probably a Mega Gyarados. I'm coming out the gates with Mew, Cabalion, Finny, Umbreon, Char, and Volcanion. And actually, it's my first time using Volcanion, so I always wanted to use them. I don't know why, but I uh, yeah, haven't used them for it, so I'm going to give them a go. And I'm actually going to lead off with them here as she leads off with her Galventella. I'm going to go straight for the Flamethrower. I don't know why. I should have knew she would have a Sash, but I still wanted to go for it. I probably could have maybe could have switched into Cabalion or, or Mew, actually. But I'm pretty much just thinking she's going to get a Wes, but she actually goes for the Thunder and just knocks my Volcanion out. So it's a uh, very fast, very fast living with Volcanion there, you know, one turn with them. So I'm going to actually bring out my Cabalion and get up my Stealth Rocks instead of, instead of, I could have just straight up went for the kill instead so she didn't get up the Sticky Wes, but I wanted to get up my Rocks. Sticky webs are a problem though, so I maybe should have done that. But I'm gonna go ahead and vote switch here. As I knock out the Gaventella, I bring in my Aquarius here, aka Tapu Fini. I am gonna, of course, bring, bring up the Misty Surge here. As I do to take a Sticky Web speed my, or minus one. As she brings in Tapu Lele and changes my Surge into her own Surge. I'm pretty much gonna uh, go for the defog here as she gets some sidekick damage off because I don't really want webs up, but I do want my rocks up, which is probably why I should have took out that Gaventella when I first had the chance. So I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna defog here and clear up the field as I do get some some uh, some HP back. I'm actually going to just switch out here into my Mew, Mr. Ghost himself. It reminds me of, uh, what is that? With, with, uh, Oh, I forgot her name too. Uh, I forgot her name, but it reminds, reminds me of that anime, Ghost in the Shell, actually. So I, I, that's why I named it that. But I'm gonna take some psychic damage here. Not enough to do nothing to me, as I'm gonna go for the Roost. Actually, take two psychics, which I'm gonna go for the Roost here. Mew is just a, a beast when it comes to being just bulky and just handling mines defensively. So with the um. She's gonna actually switch out Tapu, Tapu Lele and go into her Landorus here as I'm gonna go for another Roost, get up to full health. Maybe should have uh, predicted something there and went for the Psychic. I am in Psychic Terrain, so, but I am gonna go for the Psychic this turn and actually get a decent hit off. So I can probably two hit KO this Landorus, but until he reveals the Citrus Berry. She's gonna get up her rocks, and I'm actually gonna switch out here and go into my panda, aka Umbreon, who's, who's my defensive specialist, I like to call him. Very much a defensive specialist, as he does go for the U turn here. I actually do max defense. I do max defense, and I do a lot of HP. Not max HP, but a lot of HP, and max defense with the Rocky Helmet. He's already good, especially defensive. And I'm gonna go for the tech here. Just, I don't know, just to see. I'm pretty sure that thing is Scarf, actually, that Tapu Lele. So that's why I uh, probably did it attack. Just see what moves she wanna lock herself into. Which most likely was gonna be the Moon Blast. It could have been something else, maybe. If she thought I was gonna switch out into something, she could have did Psychic. But I'm actually gonna go to into my Cabalion here. Thinking maybe I can get the Iron Head off. She's gonna switch into her Clef Key at the same time. Which I'm still gonna get a decent bit of damage off here. But she's gonna have uh, leftovers here. So at this point, I believe her only mana I have down is Gavin Solo. So I'm pretty much down 5 4 here. I've lost my Volcanion and I've lost my Umbreon. So yep, I'm gonna switch out my um, Cabalion here as I go for the Volt Switch, bring in my Tapu Finny. She does have rocks up, so I'm probably just about to go straight for the Defog. So yep, I have a uh, Tapu Finny here. Tapu Finny here as the leftovers come in hand. She's gonna get up a light screen. I 
believe she's actually gonna try to get up a reflect at the same time. But I go for the default clear to clear off the whole field anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I go for the default, I clear up everything. It's pretty much gonna be a defensive, defensive little stall worth battle here. And at this point in time, I probably would think I should go for the scold, actually. Just, just to get some damage off on this cleft key because I have to get it out of here. But oh, I actually go for the taunt. The taunt, which is, I guess that's a good play. Hold on, I gotta note something here, but I have to uh, go for the taunt here. Just so uh, she can't get up any more spikes or any more screens or reflects or anything like that. And she's gonna switch out her cleft key, of course, because it can't really do anything. And now that I've taunted it, no offensive move is gonna do is gonna hurt mine, tap if any much. So I'm gonna go for another defog here as I clear up that last spike layer she left down. I'm gonna get a little bit of health back as she brings in her Tapu Lele here. I'm gonna actually switch out back into my bulky little monster here, my little ghost Mew. She's gonna go for the sidekick, doing nothing. It actually does like 25%, probably a little bit over 25%, but Mew's hanging in there accordingly. As she's gonna go into her heat trying here. I'm actually gonna go for the roost and get uh get back to full HP, get back to full health here. She's gonna go for the flash cannon. Actually gets off uh probably uh 40, a little bit over 40 percent. As I'm gonna go for the aura spear just to gauge out, see how much can I actually do to this heat train here. I'm gonna switch out my Mew. I'm gonna switch out my Mew. I probably didn't do too much damage there at all, actually, as she goes for the Flash Cannon again. I bring in my Charizard, who can take a Flash Cannon very handily. I switch into here, and I figure I kinda wanna go for the Dragon Dance. Either that, or, or go for the, um... I was gonna, I coulda Earthquaked, of course, but I was, I was thinking that she coulda came in here and bring in the lantern so i probably i, I think I, I just went straight for the dragon dance i believe here because if i had a went for earthquake she could have definitely brought this thing in here and i could have got nothing off but going for the uh, dragon dance here is kind of safe as i do get my attack back up to base and i have plus one speed here i'm going to go for the dragon claw hoping i can still knock this lander out but uh as you can see Charizard is just not good for me. I've tried to use him a couple times. He's not as strong as you would think a Charizard should be, especially a Mega X. Even at base power, I think I should have knocked the Lander or so. But, you know, how, too bad. Too bad, so sad. Didn't knock him out. He actually knocks out my Charizard after I have to bring in my Mew, who gets the revenge kill with the sidekick. Like, okay, Charizard, I'll see you next time. But. We'll see how that goes in the future. Cause I actually do want to make Charizard a good mod that I use. It's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And he actually gonna bring in his Gyarados here. Bring in his Gyarados, Mega Evolves into the Gyarados. At this point, I, I stayed in with Mew. Cause I believe I'm actually gonna go for the Volt Switch here to get up out of here. I thought I pretty, I was pretty sure I could out, outsped it. I didn't want to stay in. I'm pretty sure she's gonna go for the Dragon Dance here. Anywho, so I kind of want to get some, get a defensive mod in here. Even though Tapu Fini's defense is, is not good as her special defense, he's gonna go for the Dragon Dance here. And yep, I'm gonna get a little bit of help back. I'm actually going to end up going for the Moon Blast here, trying to get some damage off, because this thing actually, it could probably sweep me. I, I don't think it could sweep me. On my Mega Gyarados, I usually run Iron Head. I don't know if that's a thing that everyone does, but I run Iron Head on mine, so seeing that she has just Waterfall and maybe just Crunch, she probably can't do no damage to me. If she had Iron Head, of course she probably would have went for that instead. Being at plus one, she would have probably knocked me out by now on that second hit. But I'm gonna go for the double moon blast here and actually knock Gyarados out 1v1 here with my Tapu Fini. Who oh I really I, I expected Iron Head actually, so I was just coming in just to get one decent hit off. And then I can uh switch into uh, another mine here and get a revenge kill. But I actually get the 1v1 beat down here as she comes back in with her heat right here and goes for the flash cannon actually knocks me down to one hp and i survive off one hp and then i get another good scold off decent damage and 
did knock him out, which would have been would have been pretty uh cool. But he uh, he gets the my excuse me, she gets the flash cannon off and knocks out my tapu finny here as I go into my cabalion. I'm actually gonna I, pr I probably would have killed it anyway, but uh, he switched it off or she switched out her uh, heatron here. As I just go straight for the vault switch, I'll get some damage off either way. As she brings back in this clef key here, I'm gonna go straight into my Mew, knowing that you can't really do no that much damage to me. So if she does get off a light screen or some spikes, I can't really do nothing anymore because I have my Tapu Finny who already has fainted. So I'm gonna actually double switch out here into my Cabalion back into him because I, this is the only thing that I have that can even do some damage here into my or in or to clef key actually excuse me uh she's actually gonna get the thunder wave off here so i'm gonna be low on speed here as she actually does go for the light screen and i'm actually happy she went for light screen instead of reflect because i'm actually just gonna go straight for the z move here my all-out pummeling with the cabalion which is going to end up just straight knocking this clef key down just destroying it which I'm actually happy about because I actually had nothing else to do to this cleft key at all I could have did iron head again or or just straight up close combat but I, I wouldn't have knocked it out at all but that's what we have Z Cabalion for he does so much work here as she goes for the moon blast and stays in I'm actually going to get my iron head off and KO her with the Cabalion in, he's paralyzed. I'm so happy that he didn't get paralyzed there because I don't know what I would have did to Finny. Otherwise, I could have stalled it out with Mew at that point, but that's pretty much it. As she does bring, uh, in, bring in her uh, Heatron here to finish the job with the Revenge Kill. My last Pokemon is Mew, who 1v1 at this range. Clearly, she's going to go for a Lava Plume, which is going to do nothing to my Mew as he eats that up. And I'm going to go for the Aura Spear and knock that Heatran down, which is her last Pokemon. So, yep, shout out to Valentina. I get the good 1-0 victory. I'm pretty sure um, I, got a, I, got a, uh, I got a series up with Valentina, a best of seven series, which she won. Four, two. So if you want to go watch that, you can go check that out. I'll probably leave that below. But yeah, that's a little bit of a rival there. She usually beats me, actually. So I'm, I was actually happy to get this win up there. Yeah, but go watch that best of seven to see her actually destroy my team. Don't watch game five. I repeat, don't watch game five. Two, two in videos. See you later.